The Hanna-Barbera animation lifted Marvel's first family from the page to the screen in Fantastic Four. In this show, Reed Richards showed off his super stretchy body as his sole power, aside from his genius that is. This is as close to the classic 60s style comic as an animated show has gotten. You're even more stupid than I thought, Victor. To come right into the headquarters of the Fantastic Four. In 1978, a second animated series titled The New Fantastic Four aired. He shows his cunning and quick thinking in the show, managing to trick Magneto into believing he's lost his powers in one episode. I didn't, Magneto. I merely tricked you. This time, the animation style was sharper, allowing for more definition of Reed, with his iconic silver streaks down each side of his hair appearing more defined than in the previous version. If you two commanders will exchange keys back again, you can still save yourselves, your men, and all of us. Fantastic Four The Animated Series hit screens in 1994 and shook up the franchise with more modern animation techniques. Strangely, this was a story of two seasons that were super different. Reed actually looks younger in season two, even with the gray in his hair, except in the first episode where they bizarrely forgot to include them all together in one scene. Additionally, he has smoother facial features. I guess that's what happens when you change studios halfway through, right? The costumes were also a much darker black and blue in the second season. Yes! Go ahead! Hate me! You weak, silly, spineless! That very same year, Marvel was working on a live-action Fantastic Four movie. Sadly, it never got an official release, but dozens of unofficial copies have been available online over the years. The plot covered Reed coming to terms with his powers and the actions of his once friend Victor Von Doom in a classic retelling of his origin story. The costume was pretty comic book accurate, but it looked tacky, dated, and pretty cringeworthy in live action. Those white streaks were very prominent though. It's not like you to run away from a challenge, Victor. In 1996's The Incredible Hulk animated series, we get to see Reed letting his hair down on vacation with Sue and Johnny, stretching out and relaxing. Literally. The appearance in Spider-Man the Animated Series in 1997 is where we begin to see the modern image of Mr. Fantastic take shape, with more attention to detail and Reed drawn to look a bit older and wiser, joining Spider-Man in his otherworldly adventures. In the episode Secret Wars Arrival, Iron Man and Mr. Fantastic combine their brain power and use alien technology to reactivate the part of the lizard's mind in which Dr. Connor's consciousness is to try and save him from his mutation. You desire nothing but their praise and servitude. You're a charlatan. In 2005, the rights for the team were now with Fox, and a live-action Fantastic Four film finally made it to screens. This covers the same origin story that its unreleased predecessor does. Reed Richards gets his powers in a cosmic accident and has to work out how to live with his new powers and defeat his old friend and rival Victor Von Doom, who also got powers in the incident. He's shown as a genius, one of the greatest scientists the world has to offer, but he lacks charisma, confidence, and any sort of fiscal ability in this version. Johan Griffith actually plays a pretty good read, looking the part, just without the white stripes down the side of his hair being noticeable. I can make it work. No! I need more power to control the storm. The same year that the movie was released, the features on Robot Chicken began. There have been a few over the years, with notably funny stop-motion skits like a parody of Wife Swap, plats on the team's rivalry with Doctor Doom, who's actually a bit of a pervert in other quirky moments. Richards got the anime treatment in 2006 with Fantastic Four World's Greatest Heroes. This series charted the origin story of the team and pitted them against their rogues gallery. The anime style doesn't suit Mr. Fantastic, as he just ends up looking young, but there's one thing that does suit anime skin-tight bodysuits, and stretchy abilities, especially when Mr. Fantastic is using his powers to bend and stretch in the orange, white, and blue costume. He also shows off an arsenal of different futuristic weapons and machines like the Power Gauntlet and the Neutralizer, which he uses when being stretchy isn't quite enough to get the job done. I'm sorry, I, I just don't have time right now, Mrs. Monet. Maybe next week. 2007 saw a sequel to Fox's live-action movie in Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. Not much changed for Reeds from the first film, and the plot was a very bad attempt at the epic Galactus storyline from the comics, which was received pretty poorly. The first family becomes official when Reed actually marries Sue Storm in this movie, 
and he shows that he has a few super-powered stretchy dance moves up his sleeves at the bachelor party. Maybe his powers aren't just for doing superhero stuff after all. I was just explaining to the girls about how the Big Bang led to this was Johnny's idea. I just went along. Ever wonder what a chibi version of Mr. Fantastic would look like? No need. You can check out 2009's The Superhero Squad show and see for yourself right now. He appeared in five episodes alongside other characters across the two seasons of the show. In one notable episode, he teams up with Miss Marvel to rescue the Squaddies from their extra-dimensional exile. Just like the mythical Hydra, cut off one head and two grow back. In the 2010 Marvel Features adaptation of Planet Hulk, Reed is silently featured among the shadowy Illuminati organization, shown on a hologram alongside other members. Mr. Fantastic also appeared in Mad in 2010, and went on to appear twice in total. In The Wolver Queen, he appears in an advert for a product parodying Wolverine, and again in a similar skit in Superhero 6 Motel. The first truly modern animation version of Reed came in 2011 in The Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. In this series, he appears in a supporting role in seven episodes. The more realistic art style keeps in line with the comic book look, but brings everything up to date, looking sharp and detailed. Mr. Fantastic, alongside Tony Stark, played a crucial role in the Galactus arc, helping to defeat the Great Devourer. As part of a special team put together for just that task, they successfully found a way to transform matter into antimatter, banishing the giants into the negative zone and saving the day. He knew Johnny and Ben were there. He wanted them out of the way, all to get to Susan. But why Wasp? Mr. Fantastic then appeared again as a supporting character in Hulk and the Agents of Smash in 2014. Someone hit the handsome button as he was drawn with very chiseled and semi-realistic looks in this show, along with a more tactical style suit with more white. You truly are incredible, Hulk. In 2015, a pretty unexpected and unfortunately short-lived attempt was made to reboot the franchise in live action. Miles Teller took over as Mr. Fantastic, and despite him being universally loved as an actor, he couldn't save this total flop. He even got defensive over his own performance in the film, stating in an interview, You work harder on the bad films, or the films that turn out maybe not the way you intended because something's not working. Even the star of the movie didn't get it. There's no four on the costumes, and they're super realistic military-style tactical suits, nothing like the comics. It's yet another retelling of the origin story that wasn't needed. In fact, nothing about this movie needed to exist, with the visuals also pretty distanced from the source material, and it was completely ripped apart by critics and fans alike, with no sequels considered. And there's four of us, so we should come up with a name for it. It's fantastic. Yes, it is. Reed appeared in several episodes of the Marvel TLDR web series. These simple animations fitting with the comic stylings of Marvel's characters told the classics like Inhumans Among Us and The Coming of Galactus in bite-sized episodes on YouTube. Marvel also ran Marvel Superhero Adventures on YouTube in 2020, and a cute, chibi-style Reed Richards made a return in the bite-sized short stories. In one episode, Mr. Fantastic and Spider-Man worked together to fix a jet, dealing with chaos caused by Mittens the Cat. You promised to put Mittens outside. We have to get that cat before the jet gets away. <laughs> Ever since Marvel got the rights back for the Fantastic Four, the internet has speculated who would be the MCU Reed Richards. The name everyone seemed to want attached to the role was John Krasinski, who seemed a pretty natural fit for the role. So the reaction when he appeared on screen in that blue suit as Mr. Fantastic in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness in 2022 was incredible. However, this wasn't the Earth 616 version. It's an alternate version from Earth 838, and it was announced afterwards that this short cameo where he sits on that universe's Illuminati and dies when Wanda turns him into spaghetti would be John's only outing in the role. Big sad. Please. I have children of my own. I understand your pain. But that's okay because we just found out that the internet favorite stand-in father figure is taking the role for real. Pedro Pascal was officially announced as the MCU's Reed Richards. We don't know much about the movie, but we do get real 60s vibes from the promo material, so we'll have to see what's up with that. One thing's for sure, with an actor like Pascal playing Mr. Fantastic and Marvel Studios at the helm, this might be the live-action Fantastic Four movie we always wanted.
This is the way. This is the way. This is the way.